are you doing? You're late. Oh, hey, Chief. Oh, sorry I'm late. And you're all out of breath, too. Odd. Where were you? Um, uh, out in the courtyard? The courtyard, huh? Oh, what's your take on this, kid? It's a lie. The courtyard is less than 90 seconds away. Even if he'd run from there, he wouldn't be breathing this hard. Hmm. I saw that, too. Where were you really, Dr. Freebird? Uh... Well... Enough. I know you're all friends, but playtime's over. Let's begin the conference. About ten minutes ago, a Ferris wheel collapsed in Oakdale. We're receiving four patients, one of whom is severely injured. The patient's name is Charlie Malone, a 39-year-old male. He has a steel beam in his abdomen and needs surgery stat. So we have his ID. Has his family been notified? That still needs to be done. Gabe, I'll leave that to you. Now, about the surgery itself. Chief, if I may. Huh? What is it, Tomoe? Why not ask him to perform the procedure? Me? I've seen the video of his operation. He's better than us. Severe organ damage is anticipated and will need his skill. I did see him in action. I agree. He's amazing. Well then, it's decided. We'll count on you, kiddo. What the? Hey, be careful. Is this the urgent Where patient? should we take him? Has anesthesia been alerted? Is alert. everyone ready? Nurses, prep for surgery. Please move. Make way. Blood pressure 60 over 34. GCS is 33, blood type O+. Plus. Secure a blood transfusion line and get him to room A. Let's move. You! Get out of the way! Please, listen carefully. This will require several steps. I will monitor the transfusion, so watch the patient's vitals. <sighs> Doctor, is something bothering you? I'm not worried, it's just... Damn it! Hang in there! Readying the lactated ringer solution. No time. Contact surgery. We're bringing him in as is. Just... How we handle this crisis will affect the hospital's name. Is it alright to trust this to an outsider like me? You've let your short time here mislead you in understanding us. You aren't regarded as an outsider here anymore, Doctor. You've already saved two lives since you arrived here. All of us believe in our hearts that you'll save this man. Believe. Cardiac arrest, one minute. Hemorrhaging won't stop. God damn it! We're not gonna let him die on us. Let's go. Patient seems to have arrived. The extraction of the foreign object is a delicate procedure. I, Tomoe Tachibana, will be supporting you in this task. Let's get to it. We'll save this patient, no matter what. well. Let's do our best and begin the operation. The patient's in critical condition. Let's be careful. Doctor, the patient's undergoing cardiac arrest. Charge VAED. Beginning resuscitation. Activate the defibrillator when the gauge is green. Come back. Come on. We have a pulse. Thank goodness. All right. Resuming treatment of foreign objects. It's possible that material like wires penetrated the organ. 
Use the ultrasound to see what condition the organ is in. Very well. Let's do our best and begin the operation. The patient's in critical condition. Let's be careful. Doctor, the patient's undergoing cardiac arrest. Charge the AED. Beginning resuscitation. Activate the defibrillator when the gauge is green. Come on. Come back. Come on. We have a pulse. Thank goodness. All right. Resuming treatment of foreign objects. It's possible that material like wires penetrated the organ. Use the ultrasound to see what condition the organ is in. All right, I'll use the forceps so while we can see it. Please place the object in the chair. The wire has been extracted. Moving on to up, just need to pull this. The glass shard has been extracted. Glass shard removed. Please continue with the treatment. The blood is in the way. All right, beginning eye beam extraction. The blood pool has formed an incision area. Let's pull it with the forceps before the blood pools. It's so deep. We can't remove it all at once. We'll have to open the wound and pull it out. The wire is better than the wound. Be careful removing it. Ventricular fibrillation. Don't touch him. Cardiac arrest. Charging the AED. Come on. Come back. Come on. We have a pulse. What's the vitals for any variations? Blood pool is going to form once we make an incision. Pull on the object with the force. Right there. I'm continuing with the treatment. The patient's getting worse. Doctor, wait, we have a visual. The collective blood. Blood removal confirmed. The wound has been sutured. Moving on to other areas. Just a scared. 
skilled as the rumors say. Oh, that's why I'm here. <laughs> Such modesty. I have much to learn myself as well. Operation complete. Thank you for your assistance in the procedure. He's really something. It's like a machine. Seriously, that kind of skill is just incredible. Right? Hmm. Oh, is that your daughter? She's a cutie. That's right. It's good she didn't take after her dad. <laughs> How old is she? She would be 14 now, if she were still alive. When did she pass away? She was killed in a bioterrorism attack. Eight years ago. Eight years? Don't tell me. Oh, sorry. Uh... <sighs> it's in the past now. That incident at Cumberland College. My wife taught there. She passed away with my girl. Hey, did they ever find who was responsible? Yeah. I caught him. Personally. Don't you recognize him? He's standing right there. Uh, are you joking? He... he did that? A side effect of the gas. It erased his memory. But he was found guilty in a court of law for it. <laughs> that bastard! Maria! Well done, Doctor. That was as smooth as last time. It's like nothing can stop you. Uh, Emma, stop swooning over the new doc. Hey! You convict bat! Hey! Is it you? Dr. Torres! Did what? you do it? What the... What are you talking about? Are you responsible for Cumberland College? Tell me! <sighs> I've already been put on trial for what happened there. What are you doing? So what then? Have you been lying to us all this time? Please, You're calm down, Dr. Dr. Torres. Dammit. We swore an oath Someone to do no harm. Dr. Torres, calm down. Maria, stop it. You can't remember, huh? It'll screw you. Start remembering. Remember what you did, damn you. Ah. Uh. I'd like to return to my room. Could you escort me there? 